Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. I hope you're doing well. I have an amazing video for you today. You will definitely want to watch this one until the end. If you're an entrepreneur, a solopreneur, you have a side hustle or a thriving small business and you want some positive news when it comes to funding, especially if you're still waiting for EIDL funding or you're not sure that you can get extra EIDL funding because you've been denied so many times, this is an essential video. I'm gonna show you three small business owners that we talked to last week and their inspirational stories on their path to getting EIDL funding. They've all gone through the denial process, the waiting process. They have great words of wisdom for you. So thanks for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe, turn on the alerts if you're new, and if you find their stories inspirational, which I know you will, give this video a like. Let's try to get this video to 3,000 likes. This is probably one of the most important videos I've put together because it's not just me talking, it's me sharing the stories of you, our viewers, how you've navigated the past two years. All these stories are powerful. The last one, most especially, overcoming six denials. So once again, a huge thank you to Jay, Ali, and Pam for joining us, for sharing their story. We'll be publishing longer versions of their stories this coming week, and something I've never announced before on our YouTube channel. If you want one-on-one -on -one funding support, if you're inspired after hearing these stories, use the link in the description below. Today only, if you use it, you'll get one month added to your premium membership for free. One month for free after the first month. Today only with that link in the description. First up is Jay, who owns a dog walking business between Birmingham, Alabama and DC. Their biggest challenge during COVID, which he'll mention, has been staffing, which is why the EIDL loans have been so important. He has over 100 employees. Let's take a listen to Jay. Uh, we've been in business since 2008. Uh, with most people staying home, we were hit very hard by the pandemic starting in March of 2020. Uh, before any of the uh, programs were released or announced, we took out some pretty high, you know, what, what I call desperation debt, uh, just to make sure we could keep the lights on. We had plenty of solvency and we have gotten an EIDL loan. Uh, we've used that EIDL loan to kind of maintain things, but we're looking for an increase now because there's so much opportunity in the in the industry. We need to pay our employees more because our biggest problem now is staffing. We could grow more and faster today if I had better staffing, but I happen to be in one of the most competitive job markets in DC. And so paying more is important. And we also want to uh, use those funds to pay off that high income debt. Uh, we had pretty much exhausted our EIDL prior to the rule change about being able to pay off debt. So getting that higher loan amount is going to help us tremendously. I mean, we, we would have given up a long time ago if it had not been for the staff at Skip. There's no doubt about it. I highly recommend <laughs> anyone that is thinking about it to get some help with it. Because like I said, y'all's knowledge has, we would just not have done the type of returns on these uh, reconsiderations. So there's a quick look at some of Jay's story. We'll be publishing the longer one. We're currently helping him get a further EIDL loan increase. Things are getting close there. Next up is Ali, who's been a business owner for a long time doing wholesale down in LA. He'll share some of the persistence and determination he had in getting an EIDL approval. Let's take a listen. So I, I started the business in 2005, and we uh, were first uh, an artisan bakery with uh, retail stores. Uh, back after the crisis of uh, 2008, we pivoted into uh, doing a wholesale uh, business model with delivering to restaurants and hospitality, as well as uh, hotels, coffee shops, and, uh, uh, and uh, distributors. Got, got into the, the reconsideration uh, um, maze because it became very very difficult uh, and we didn't understand why our application was stalled and uh, we got declined twice uh, and um, uh, before i joined um, you know i contacted you guys and uh, i was assigned a concierge by the name of teresa which is fantastic and she walked me through the the various uh, issues that were going there uh, um, and uh, the gu guided me into what uh, 
where sh what questions I should ask the SBA. And uh, the, the biggest issue for us was not the SBA. The biggest issue was the IRS. You know, Teresa uh, suggested that I contact the IRS and spend time on solving the problem with the IRS, with, which finally I realized what the problem was. And it was resolved very quickly, but it took us six months and two declines. Once this problem was resolved, things uh, started moving very quickly and we got our approval. Uh, I, I uh, uh, think that the, uh, the SBA did a great job. They could have improved yeah. a lot on the communication and saved us a lot of headache. Uh, uh, another big issue for us this year is inflation, uh, the increase in uh, cost of mm -hmm. ingredients, which is very, very, it's uh, hitting the, the food industry really bad. I hope that this year we will be back at pre-COVID numbers. First, the idea we cleaned up the, the operations. We're much better poised for the growth. I want to take this opportunity to thank you, uh, Ryder, because I also watch uh, your videos and your approach to solving the problem has been very professional rather, uh, compared to other channels on uh, on YouTube that try to solve the, the EIDL maze, I would call it. So you were very professional and you approached it in a, in a, in a positive way that there is a problem, we have to solve it. It's not like, oh, they're, they're, you're good and they're bad and stuff like this. So there's a little bit of insight into what Ali had to go through, how he did it. Finally, Pam and her story, which is incredible, overcoming six denials and how she did it. I'm a certified life coach and business strategist. I'm a branding expert and I help people clarify their unique message so they can brand themselves and leverage that brand to, to m get more clients and make more money. And that's my claim to fame. And I call myself the yes coach because I coach from a positive mindset. So inside of oh, that nice. modality, I was getting a lot of no's from the SBA. So all but one of my clients went away and, and, it, and there was no income. And so I needed the help from, from the SBA, desperately needed it. And what I was getting was I listened to the YouTube channel a lot during that time, the, the hello skip and and everything that they recommended. And ultimately I did get $38,000 in 2021 and was told that was it. That was all I could get. I was making good money and I was paying my bills until COVID hit. And then it was all I could do to pay my rent. And I was not paying my bills on time. I maxed out all my credit cards, trying to keep ends meeting in my credit score, took a dive and then compared it and said, look, you can see that COVID hit me. This is what the money is for. They helped me get back on my feet, denied. Um, please, I need this money. Please reconsider. Deny. Six in a row for for almost a full year. I was trying and reconsidering. In the meantime, watching Hello Skip, and then one day after the sixth denial, which really the the people in the SBA are human beings, and sometimes you get somebody who's really compassionate and kind and worded, you know, politically correctly. And sometimes you get somebody not so much. And in that moment is when I went to Skip and I joined the membership. My concierge, whose name was Kayla, she told me exactly what to do step by step. I sent her all my paperwork and she looked at it and said, she said, you're entitled to $153,000 and you could have bought me for a dime. I never would have thought that much. I have a small business. I'm a sole entrepreneur, but I was blown away. And she said, that's what we're going to get for you. I wrote the letter she told me to write. I provided the same documentation I've been providing all along, the past and the current, showing them I was great until COVID and I'm getting back on my own without your help. With your help, it'll be very, very instrumental. Three days after I sent that letter, I get an email from them saying, we are reconsidering your loan modification. Then a week after I get that email, I get a phone call from the SBA and the woman on the other line said, we want to have a conversation about your your credit, why is your credit so messed up? And I told her the same thing I've been saying for a year that I, and the, all of these things I'm saying, I said before, I got a compassionate SBA person and she said, congratulations, you're right. You did a really good job on your credit. She hung up the phone three days after that phone call, I get an email saying your loan modification has been approved. And 10 days after that email, the money showed up in my bank account, paid all my credit cards down, paid all my taxes, paid everything and there's still plenty left over. I can now look to, I bought a new computer. My computer was, you know, 12 years old. And I, I you know, I got myself situated because I'm virtual now. I hold events and trainings on Zoom and I need the, the most current, you know, I need enough RAM. I need all this stuff that I didn't have. So it makes my business runnable. There's people on here who have, you know, retail stores and 
you know, like the gentleman with the bar and the dog walking business. My business now is pure virtual. I'm a minority. I'm a woman. I have all the criteria that I should have been first in line to get help. And it took almost two years to get help. And that's not the way that it was supposed to be. It was designed to help businesses stay afloat. And now, because my business is thriving now due to that loan. Thank you so much to Pam for sharing that and Jay and Ali. We can't wait to share more of your stories to check in down the road. And we're talking to more business owners this Wednesday, 1 p.m. Pacific in another YouTube Live. So be sure you're subscribed. So if you need help for your business still, please use the link today in the description. You'll get one month added for free when you start your Skip Premium membership. As always, thanks so much for watching. Most importantly, stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow.